old Chevy 6.5. We got it running again. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. This was fuel delivery issue was my problem. I'm going to go through everything I know about fuel delivery problems on a Chevy 6.5 turbo diesel. One of the first things is to check the fuses in this panel here. Uh, Under the hood, we got another fuse box here. On this particular truck, it had this fuse right here that was burnt out. Uh, so you're going to want to check all these fuses. This right here is your fuel pump relay. And that's another one that's very easy to go ahead and replace before you start buying a bunch of expensive parts. So right here is your fuel filter. And you can crack this on the top of it. Oh, I just heard a lot of air come out of that, guys. That's a good sign as far as why it wasn't running. And now I'm going to go ahead and jump across these two poles over here. Okay, this is a fuel pump relay. This is one of the first parts that I replaced. And we're jumping these two there and i think that next up definitely a good idea to check the grounds right here this is an awful grounding situation but somehow this truck's still running there's another ground right up here on the motor that i'll show you once i cleaned that ground this truck started way faster from the turbo the ground that i'm changing right now is located right here not changing but cleaning rather i want to get that one cleaned up all right also under the hood we've got this it's called the pmd this is related to the fuel system if you've got a truck right now in 2022 and this pmd has not been relocated i got no idea how you made it this far but uh this it apparently overheats when it's on the engine they make simple kits to relocate these and get them away from the engine bay this truck quit running years and years and years ago and we got it running by relocating this right here okay this here is your lift pump very easy to replace it's on the driver's side inside this uh, frame rail now guys keep in mind i just climbed underneath this truck to show you everything i know about these fuel problems go ahead and hit that like button we'll get your truck fixed a quick point that i'll make with that lift pump is that whenever you turn the key on on my truck that does not immediately start pumping it's only when the truck's actually running that you can hear that pumping and you can feel it actually working Guys, I feel kind of stupid here. I'm gonna point this out to you so that if you're looking to fix your truck, you don't waste a lot of time like I did. I cut a hole in my bed and took this clear out of the tank thinking that this was a pump. Even after I looked at this multiple times, I thought that this was an actual pump. It's a fuel sending unit. I know you guys obviously probably already know that, but within your tank, all this is is a unit that shows your truck how much fuel is actually in the tank and that's what you know displays on your gauge. So I never even had to take this off and replace it. The entirety of my issue was not related to this unit that was in the tank. So consequently, in my case, I think that mainly what fixed this truck was replacing that mid you know, lift pump and then also replacing all of my fuses. So definitely check those, also check your grounds, guys. These 6.5s are great engines, guys. If yours isn't running, and if it's not getting fuel, consider yourself lucky because that's a small, simple, easy problem to fix. Just got to get the fuel up there to the engine. Now, if it is getting fuel and the thing's still not running, that's where you may consider getting something else. But if it's just not getting fuel, trust me, I believe that you can fix it. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Stick around. Look at what we did here. Catch us next time. See what we're fixing tomorrow.